Hello everyone. This is April 27, 2021. Likely to, likely to be April 28, 2021 when I upload this. <coughs> My voice is coming along quite nicely for the um, MC at the moment. <coughs> it looks pretty good at the moment. Just recording the specifications and everything. I'm not gonna say what those specifications are, but more nicely. <coughs> the um color and color is well I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's workable. Especially since this is gonna be the <coughs> it's gonna be the character arts that's gonna be used in the um, Indiegogo campaign. So I'm gonna keep it under wraps until I'm ready to get the Indiegogo campaign going. So it's gonna be pretty good. Be awesome. <coughs> On top of that, there's another character that um debating on whether or not I should have next in the lineup apart from the MC. Oh I'll figure that one when the time I'll figure that when the time comes. <coughs> So on, t- on top of that, <coughs> the um, scripting for the character and you know everything should be a lot easier once you get the Indiegogo campaign going. Like I'll have everything fully scripted out. Should be able to hire some programmers and the like. <laughs> Provide like um. <coughs> Try to get the um, hype for it. I should be able to get a demo going and everything. Those dogs are going up and down and up. Yeah, those are dogs in the, in the background that you're hearing. <coughs> Well, we can um, swing him to Jack in the Box real quick. Like, get a burger. Carl is probably not going to fix that sign. I mean, I brought it to their attention quite a few times. That one sign that I showed you in the, in the, in the um, last vlog, I think it was. <coughs> like, as... I think it was Carl's Jr. employee will be uh, happy to help yo. Happy to help yo. I find it hilarious that they never bothered to fix that. And they're probably not going to going forward. But this it was a shame because <clears throat> you've got a pretty good placard and you're leaving it as a joke that it is. Will be a uh, can either mean boyfriend or best friend. So, take your break. <clears throat> Luckily for me, Jack in the Box and Carl's Jr. is just a hop and skip away. Yeah. That's something. It's gonna be a while. Be- <clears throat> it's gonna be a while before I'm ready for Japan. But my thinking is, any profits I get from the game will go towards Japan. So if it does exceedingly well, super fast, it may be gone faster than I think. So oops. I'll be able to base everything in Japan and everything's set up from there. <coughs> So I guess I'll see you with the order in the jack in the box. Call me for you never see a surprise. Look behind me. Yeah. So this all just happened. I mean not just happened, but this happened. A lot of places is just Thanks to the government lockdowns, just... 
you know what I said from the government lockdown because that part really not only do you not see, but you also can't get the drink yourself. You got this in the way, and everything's covered by garbage bags. I don't know why I'm just gonna tarp, but whatever. So yeah, Tropic Borneo is just insane, and this is anywhere in the worst of it. Okay, so back has some boxes done, and. Yeah, Jack has in the boxes kind of my joke for it. So, I guess this turn things off. I got the combo, which is um, a arch fry bacon double cheeseburger. I decided to um, get a, a slice of cheesecake because fuck it, why not? New York style cheesecake is bomb, but. Unfortunately, this state so much is not, though, but I'm going to have to get, or not get, but <coughs> I have to next time ask for not the combo because I don't have any Pepsi products and I'm a bigger fan of that. Plus, you know, the meme, Woka Cola. I was hoping I could get a Pepsi product that unfortunately not didn't have any. But, I'll go ahead and open the cheesecake and get my bird because we got a jack in jack in this, jack in box. I don't know if you think it's worth it, but I'll see. Yeah, it's definitely not the best cheesecake I've had, but it's pretty good. It's got a bit of, it's got a hint, it's got a small hint of cream keys, but hey, I'm a, I'm a sucker for cream keys. Or if you're more familiar with Hotel Transylvania, it's got a hint of screen keys. <laughs> well, that's just screen keys, it's cream keys, that's creams. It, it makes sense if you've seen it. Yeah, earlier I was talking about the MC, and <clears throat> I could show you guys the uh, skeck, but I can't really show anything else. Here it is, the <laughs> sketch of the MC, a legend of a sandwich man. He's legend, he puts together a sandwich. Uh, that needs to be in the Indiegogo campaign. The legendary sandwich maker goes on a quest to make sandwiches and save the world. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the thing that's going to be in the Indiegogo campaign, but if it is, yay! Because <laughs> it meant to be a tongue and cheek adventure. It's going to have some serious moments, but it's going to be, for the most part, tongue and cheek. So. We'll see what happens when we get the Indiegogo launch. So, <clears throat> that being said, thank you for watching this. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Type some shit up in that comment section and hit send. Thumb up the video. Add some engagement to help feed the algorithm. It's been doing some really odd things. Independent creators like Presumably you and me. YouTube is giving a big old finger to and suppressing our content in favor of the mainstream, removing likes from independent content creators, and I'm subscribing for people, by the way. Yeah, they've been removing subs from channels and removing likes. So if you are subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. And if you're not, maybe this is a day on your subscription. But uh, for the time being,
Perhaps the next video will be a uh, Let's Play. I'm not sure yet. But, we'll see. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.